together every day, having adventures as we play. Up in the hills, down on the beach, always a rainbow within reach. On Animal Island, on Animal Island, yeah. On Animal Island, on Animal Island, come on. Hello. to say hello 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 let's stop to say hello it's a way to say we're glad you're here come on and say hello hello hedgehog hello fox hello pig hello monkey when friends are near we smile and say hello when friends are far we wave and say hello it's a friendly word that shows we care come on and say hello hello mr frog hello hello, hello mr. mr goose hello hello friend Hello. Hello. Hi. Nice to see you. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Let's count to ten together. Ready? Here we go. Count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Again. Count with me. One, two, three. Ten to one. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And now we're done. Blast off! <laughs> <laughs> Hello, friend. It's so good to see you. You know, this treehouse is very special. There is only one treehouse on Animal Island. One. One treehouse. Let's count together. One. One treehouse. One is a number. Say one. One. That's exactly right. Let's make one our number of the day. Let's count together. One. There is one wiggle bug. One. How many wiggle bugs in all? One. That's right. Let's take their pictures. Say cheese. Helping me take that picture. Let's do the monkey dance. Yay! Yeah! yeah. yeah. There's a brand new dance. You need to count to do each move the right amount. There's a special number, the number one. Come on and count with me. Get ready to do everything one time. One time! Nod one time! Point one time! March one time! I knew I could count on you! You do the monkey dance, the monkey dance. Come on, everybody, do the monkey dance. You do the monkey dance, the monkey dance. Come on and dance with me! We're about to practice our counting together. Come on! One, two, three, four. Don't stop now, let's count some more. Five, six, seven, eight, 
nine, ten, you're doing great. When we see some flowers or butterflies or stars, we count so we can find out how many things there are. Bum, ba, da, bum, bum. Let's look for things to count. You? Let's count flowers. One, two, three, four. Four flowers. Now let's count wiggle bugs together. One, two. How many in all? Two? Yeah, you got it. Now you try, Hedgehog. Count the leaves. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. So how many leaves are there in all? Five. You did it. Thanks, monkey. Hey, I have an idea. Let's count all the flowers. That may take a while. See you soon. It's story time. Yay! Gather round, everyone. What book are we reading? We're reading this one. It's called Little Ant's Big Plan. In this story, Little Ant gets an idea from a book he reads. Let's find out what it is. Let's begin. Little Ant's Big Plan Written by Candace Dingwall Illustrated by Stephen McKimmy Designed by Telry Stoop Little Ant loved to read. Little Ant was often teased. Ants don't read. Ants must feed. Ants collect the food they need. Little Ant would read all day. He'd read and read the day away. The other ants took what they found to store for winter underground. His mom and dad got really mad, and little ant felt really bad. In autumn, when the leaves fall down, the ants must keep food underground. The queen wants food to fill the store, so all the ants must work some more. Little Ant begins to shout about a place he read about. A restaurant is what we need. A place where people go to feed. It says so in the books I read. The ants go marching one by one. They march into the setting sun. And little ant said, hey, there's one. The ants go marching one by one, carrying a burger and a bun. When they return, the queen is glad. The stores are full. They cheer like mad. Ant gets hugs from mom and dad. His baby sister takes his hand. Now I think I understand. The way you love to read a book makes me want to take a look. The End Thank you, Mr. Goose. Thank you for reading with me. Kids, it's time for a sing-along with Mr. Frog. Remember to say hello when you see him. Hello, kids! Hello, Mr. Frog! I'm going to teach you a song called Five Little Speckled Frogs. Frogs? Oh, like you, Mr. Frog! That's right! Today, you can all pretend to be frogs. Yay! <laughs> I'll sing the first part, and then you sing along with me. How many frogs did I say there were? Five! Good listening! 
Here we go! Five little speckled frogs sat on a speckled log, eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum! One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are four green speckled frogs. Now I want you to all sing along with me. I want to hear you sing too. How many frogs are there now? Four! Four little speckled frogs sat on a speckled log, eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum! One jumped into the pool where it Nice and cool. Now there are three green speckled frogs. How many? Three! Three little speckled frogs sat on a speckled log, eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum! One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are two green speckled frogs. How many? Two! Speckled frogs sat on a speckled log, eating the most delicious bugs. Yum yum! One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there is one green speckled frog. How many? One. One little speckled frog sat on a speckled log, eating the most delicious bugs. Yum yum! He jumped into the pool where it. Was nice and cool. Now there are no green speckled frogs. Well done! Yay! Thank you for singing with me, and thank you too. Thank you, Mr. Frog. Here's something we already did. Let's do it again. Hi, Ms. Panda. What are you doing? Hi, Monkey. I cut out all of these colored shapes, and now I'm sorting them. Can I help? I would love it if you helped. Thank you, Monkey. First, find all the purple triangles and put them in a box. Okay. Hmm. There's one. There's another one. This is purple. That's a square. We only want purple triangles. Oh, right. I forgot. There's one. Thank you, monkey. Now, let's gather all of the purple stars. Okay. Here. Here. And here! Splendid! Should I look for purple squares now, Ms. Panda? That's a good idea! Okay! Here, 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 and here! Great! And what's left? Two red shapes! Okay, let's put both of them in their own box. Okie dokie! No more shapes! Thank you so much, Monkey! What are all of these shapes for? Whatever we want. We can use them to make art projects. Ooh, I could use two triangles to make a bow tie. Look! <laughs> oh, Monkey, you look very fancy. Which balloon is purple? There it is. Purple balloon. Which kite is purple? There it is. Purple kite. Which sock is purple? There it is. Purple sock. Which jewel is purple? There it is. 
Purple Jewel. That's exactly right. Let's have a pattern party! Yeah! yeah! <laughs> Patterns repeat! Patterns repeat! When I say a pattern, repeat to the beat! It's time to say goodbye. Let's sing our goodbye song. Goodbye, goodbye. It's time to say goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye. Let's stop to say goodbye before we say hello again. We need to say goodbye. Goodbye, friend. Goodbye. goodbye. <laughs> Time to rest. Take a deep breath in. Let it out. Good. Listen. Lightly row, lightly row, o'er the glassy waves we go. Lightly row, lightly row, on the silent tide. Let the wind and waters be mingled with our melody. Lightly row, lightly row, on the silent tide.
lightly row, lightly row, o'er the glassy waves we go, lightly row, lightly row, on the silent tide. Let the wind and waters be mingled with our melody. Lightly row, lightly row on the silent tide.